Mike mentioned earlier in the week that the practices have been really good that leading up to what would have been a game on Thursday. Has that trend continued or has there been some letdown with the fact that you were not playing Baylor? No, there hasn't been a letdown. Um, we're just ready to play again. Um, I feel like we, we haven't played in weeks. <laughs> um, so we're just, our energy is there and we're just really excited to play. So there is no letdown. Okay. How do you feel your game is right now? Is it at a better level than it was last year? Um, I feel like it's getting there. Um, I'm trying to be like consistent, as I always say. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like I am doing things differently than I was doing last year. So I feel like I'm in a good place. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Kristen. Um, I'm just wondering, with this team, you can pretty much have anyone score 20 plus a night. It can rotate between you, Liv, Paige, even Avina now. Uh, how much does that help you personally kind of night in and night out and the team? I mean, it helps a lot. Um, we have more people that can contribute every day. So um, it takes pressure off us older guys. Um, we don't have to score every time we get the ball. <laughs> Different people can score the ball. So that's great. Hey, uh, Kristen, it's Doug with Hearst. Um, just gonna go off topic here for a second. You were um, pretty outspoken, obviously, during the summer about the um, social injustice. And, um, you know, we, we saw the WNBA's efforts, how those played out. I, I just want to get your um, perspective on, on, you know, their efforts considering, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll one day, you know, be a part of that league. And also just um, if you do have any thoughts from, uh, from Wednesday, the uh, Capitol. Uh, I'm not going to speak too much on it, but um, I'm definitely excited to be a part of the WNBA one day because they represent something bigger than themselves. There were people too, and they um, show that as an example, like every time something happens or just in general. Um, so I think they're doing a great job with that. Um, and I want to be a part of that one day. And, um, you know, I guess going back to basketball, you know, Gino did talk, obviously there was a lot of anticipation, you know, building up for that Baylor game and, and to get, you know, test yourself against the top 10, uh, 10 team there. How do you kind of evaluate yourself as the season goes along, your own personal performance? You know, you have these games, you're playing well, um, and not to take anything away from you, but they're also all against opponents you expect to beat. How do you, you know, kind of evaluate your own performance as the year goes along without those, you know, top 10 games that you usually have? Um, that's a great question. Um, I feel like everything starts in practice. I mean, we're just trying to execute things on our end, um, no matter the outcome of the game. So whether that's our offensive assignments or defensive assignments. So we just base it off that pretty much, not really our opponent. That makes sense. And you do feel like you do feel like you're a different player this year, just numbers wise, and also kind of the stuff away from, you know, not necessarily not necessarily scoring. And Gina obviously talks a lot about how it's, you know, when you don't have the ball is sometimes just as important as when you do. Uh, yeah, um, I haven't been as consistent um, shooting as I want to be. Um, I'm, that's still a work in progress, but I feel like I am trying to do other things on the floor. Um, so I, I am different in that aspect. 